Hi guys, welcome back to another part of Core Java tutorial. Today we are going to learn about method overloading in Java. Method overloading. Methods with the same name and different parameter parameters method overloading is the phenomenon of methods with the same name and different parameters in a same class so here I'm going to explain it with a complete example So here I am going to create a new class, a new example that demonstrates the method overloading briefly. Overload test. I just create a class called the overload test. Here I am going to create two variable into a and string a b. I just declare two variable into an integer a and a string b. So here I'm going to assign two values, two variables. Here I'm going to create two methods. So public void <coughs> get values okay in this I just assign some values for a and b b is equal to get values from No, I just change its no arguments. Okay. Again, I using the same variable, same methods, same method here. Okay, here is the same method, but. I just change the argument in that method. Here you can see the name of the methods are same. There are two methods with the same name but there is a difference in arguments. This is called method overloading. So here I just assign values from this argument. This dot a is equal to a. integer arguments now one more method I again create another method with a string value string b a is equal to 20 this dot b is equal to b ok here you can see that the methods, there are three overloading of the methods are present in this class. The method get values has three definition here. First one, in first one there are no arguments are present. In second one there is one argument, an integer argument is present here. In third there is a string argument is present. So whenever we create an object an appropriate method is invoked uh, based on uh, based on the number of arguments or type of the arguments so 
So I'm going to create the main class public class overload overload demo that is the main method Here is the main method. One more thing I have to create another another method in this class. Public void. Display. just create another method in the first class itself so I just print the value of string first I just print the value of that string variable it is B now I just print the value of A value of a is equal to plus a okay so now go to the main class please set equate main now here I'm going to create three way three different objects for accessing that three different categories of that method so here I'm going to create a default an object with no arguments so the class name is overload test I give it as test1 is equal to <coughs> new overload test okay by using that object I call the method display test one dot display so here the list of arguments are present and one more thing I have to call that method again test one dot get values okay so here uh, in this method there is no arguments are present so the compiler will check an appropriate method for that calling so here there is a method definition that contains no arguments so in that time in this time the compiler will invoke only this method definition and at the same time it will discard all these method definition because there is mismatch in argument here I just invoke a method that does not contain any argument so here is the matching uh, definition for that method and all these methods are does not invoke because there is mismatch in arguments so I have to check it out so now I'm going to save the program just save it in the D drive overload what is the main class name overload demo 
se vas Overload demo Save us all documents Now this is the time to compile the program Java C Overload Demo dot Java Overload demo Compile Java C Overload Demo dot Java. Okay, there is no error person in that file. I just run it Java Overload Demo. Okay, you can see that the display method execute and different no arguments values of a is equal to 10. So here I am going to uh, I am going to create one more object here I just pass an integer value here and change the object name as test2 okay so here an integer value is present so uh, in this case the compiler will check for a method definition with an integer argument so here is the uh, method that with an integer argument so in this case this method will open up this method will execute so I save it and compile it again There are some lesser percent test to two. Sorry, test to two. Test to dot display. I save it. Again, compile it. Okay, there is no error. Now oh, I'm going to run the project. Okay. Now the, you can see that that method is also executed uh, with an integer argument and value passed is 20. Now again I am going to create another version with an string argument. I give it as test3. I pass a value called uh, with string argument I rename that object as test3 again I save the program this is the time to compile that there is no error I run it you can see in this case the Mother definition with a string value is executed. So this is a simple example that demonstrate how to uh, how to obtain the method overloading in Java. A method overloading is simply called a method with the same name and with the different arguments it is called the method overloading. So here a method with three definition with different in arguments are present. The method name is get value here one definition that does not contain any argument here is the mother definition that contain only a string argument only an integer argument here also another version contain a string argument is present so whenever we call the appropriate method the compiler will check for the uh, matching method in that overloaded definitions and execute only that matching 
method definition. Guys, this is how we obtain the method overloading in Java. Please subscribe my channel now for getting further video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.